You don't realize how special America is until after you go abroad. Like, I'm a fan of the females, and America got something called options. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's other races in Europe, but mainly it's Europeans. <laughs> I'm looking in the show tonight, there's a lot of beautiful options. Black women, white women, Asian, Latino. I see a couple of Indian girls sprinkled about. I gotta say, Indian women are some of the most beautiful women on the planet, but Indian men, ugh. <laughs> and it was weird, because I had my first show in Sweden, but I had a layover in London. And they actually had Indian people working in airport security. Me up because they all had British accents. Totally threw me. Excuse me, sir. Could you please put all your belongings in a tray and move it forward? I'm going, what? Because I'm from America. I'm used to can you please put everything and you got to. And I was drinking a Slurpee at the time. I was like, you don't recognize it? The f you talking like that for? And listen, bro, if you're a black man and you're into white women, you got to go to Europe. We're special out there, because ain't a whole lot of in Europe. London is a major metropolis, a lot of in London. But you go to Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, Riga, Lithuania, there are no out there. We like a delicacy. <laughs> we like strawberry Kit Kats, nigga, we rare. <laughs> and that accent work both ways, men to women and women to men. Because, fellas, you can put the wrong woman with the wrong accent, that'll fuck up too. I walked around had sex with a Jamaican broad recently. It's the scariest shit I'd ever done. Because Jamaican women by nature are real fiery women. They're aggressive, passionate, spicy. She put the pressure on me. It was too much. I couldn't handle it. You want some of this, boy? You better get back there and mosh it up. Don't fuck around. Mosh it up. Mosh it up. When you pull your out, you better come with the right amount of ammunition. Booyaka, booyaka. I was crying. I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> quit your blood crack crying, you big boy. Bitch. Oh my God! Ain't no Middle Eastern people in here, is it? My man, right there. Where you from? From Listen. If I said anything to offend you, I'm sorry. Me, you, the same. White people fend for yourselves. I fuck with every race group, but I don't fuck with the Middle East. When them say they the bomb, they mean that shit. You don't want to fuck with me, my friend. I am the bomb. Mm -hmm. I be nervous. It is quiet in here, and all you hear is. Matter of fact, I need to see you laughing at all times. Soon as shit don't be funny, he texting. It is time. Matter of fact, if that could get up to be, we all. I don't want to hear shit about it. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? Matter of fact, if you're gonna blow somebody up, I went to Belgium. I was excited about that because I'm an action movie fanatic. And I know that's where Jean Claude Van Damme is from. And ironically enough, I watched that movie on the plane ride over Expendables 2. He plays the bad guy in the movie. He has a fight scene with Sylvester Stallone at the end of the movie. I thought Stallone and Schwarzenegger was hard to understand. Mm. Here's a moment just before the fight, Van Damme says to Stallone, don't try to challenge me. It took me 45 minutes to figure out that was trying to say challenge. Don't try to challenge me. I said, what the is a challenge? Sound like a black male hairdresser. <laughs> oh my God, girl, your hair is nice. Who did just it? Salance. <laughs> like, I can't even believe Salona Schwarzenegger still making action movies. <laughs> is 187 years old. And I'm a huge Sly fan. I love them Rocky movies. <laughs> Come out with Rocky 48, I'll be right there. My favorite Rocky movie was Rocky 3 when his trainer died. Not because his trainer died, just hearing Stallone cry for the first time was magical.
Remember that scene in Rocky III when he loses the club of leg the first time? He goes back into the locker room and Mickey's laying on that cot. He's got that blanket over his chest. He's on his last breath. He's a Sora, Sora, Sora. Stallone starts crying. Mick! <laughs> Mick! Yeah, do Mick. I got my boy do Mick. Hey, what to do? What to do? <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice in the Rocky movies, whenever he starts out normal, you can understand him, but the more emotion we get, he just <laughs> lose you. Like, remember that scene in Rocky Three when he's standing on the beach and he's all stressed and disheveled, and Adrian's like, Rocky, what's wrong? He's like, hey, yo, Adrian. Hey, you know I don't want it no more. What are you talking about? And when I first got in the ring, I didn't care what happened to me. I didn't care. But now as you, as a kid, I want to lose what I got. We you bleed to it, Adrian? I tried to turn a baby down and tell a friend. That's when Van Damme should have jumped out the water and said, Don't try to challenge! <laughs>